So I kind of wanted to start off our little journey together here, just telling you exactly what fearlessly questioning is. A little bit more detail, breaking down the different moving parts in what I kind of I kind of am calling a multimedia experience. For all of those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Joey Jingle, and I am the person behind this whole little fearlessly questioning thing. And you know, the reasoning behind it was didn't see a ton of difficult questions being asked. We just keep talking to each other about the same things, asking the same questions. And it's about time to actually start asking what works, what doesn't, what needs to be improved, what can we do better, and really just start questioning things that should matter more and not make it about things that don't and really take a good hard look at what we should be spending our time, effort, and you know maybe ultimately money on uh, or attention even. So I mean, the reason that we are questioning these things is not to just do it randomly, you know, willy nilly, uh, at the drop of a hat, question something that you know we think is going to create a little bit of a ruckus. Not what I'm looking to do here, but ultimately, uh, we're questioning these things to inspire change and optimism within your day-to-day -day life and business. Your business is part of your day-to-day -day life, but I mean, whatever feels stuck and you want to, you know, find that courage to ask that question of why is this that way or can we be doing something better? Should we be pushing the envelope? Uh, here or there or wherever, that's what we're going to do. We are just envelope pushing 24 seven basically here at Fearlessly Questioning. And we're going to bring on some very successful people, people who have made a name for themselves talking about a certain thing. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna really get to the bottom of it and we're, you know, maybe we'll talk about the thing that they talk about, but ultimately the goal here and what I'm gonna try and pull out from everybody is that underlying thread of, of what's behind their core message and really get into that. And that I think is really going to be a lot of fun because we're really going to be talking about the root of not necessarily a problem, but a cause and how effective it may or may not be and really questioning it and asking the questions that people maybe only think, or maybe they don't even think to think. And when you actually think of it that way, it could you know present a whole new slew of opportunities for you. So with that being said, real quick to kind of break down exactly what you're going to experience here with Furiously Questioning. What is happening right now is my rant of the week. So each week we're going to bring on a guest and we're gonna have a topic that we're gonna talk about. And me and the guest, we're going to have the opportunity each week for a mini monologue of sorts to talk about that question or that topic that we're going to be discussing. Or we can choose what I like to call door number two and really just go off on a rant of whatever else might be really picking at our brain that week, what might be bothering us, what might be you know, a, a little bit more of a hot button issue at the moment. So it's kind of a door number one, door number two choice for both myself and the guest for the week. So for what I'm doing right now, the very first guest that we're going to have uh, on Monday, August 4th is Marcus Sheridan. Uh, otherwise known as the sales lion. And we're going to be fearlessly questioning breaking the rules. Um, I think a lot of what he does is very interesting in the sense that he doesn't necessarily do what somebody in his industry would tell him to do. And we're going to dig into that and see, you know, one, how it's made him successful. And two, if he would maybe be more successful if he focused on some of those things. But I'm going to get to my breaking the rules in a second. But what we're going to see here, and Marcus has already recorded his little rant to, you know, kind of preface our conversation, our live conversation that's going to be taking place. And it's going to be kind of dripped out to you over the course of, of the week. So for this initial launch, we decided to kind of just blow the doors off of this whole thing and just go crazy with it and do five live hangouts for uh, five days in a row. So starting next week, August 4th, we, we will be starting live with Marcus Sheridan on, on that Monday at 2 p.m., uh, so we're going to have actually 10 segments prior to that with all of our guests that will get rolled out here. And there's going to be a lot of a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool information. And really what it is for is really we're just gearing up for the launch of the actual podcast because in addition to being this video series that you might be watching or listening to at the moment, which in podcast form, um, like I said, we're going to also have a live Google Hangout uh, conversation as well. So like I said, a lot of different avenues for you to interact with this thing. 
So if you are listening to this or watching this prior to the live conversation uh, and are getting ready you know, for this launch, um, you know, we're going to wait and, and want everybody to kind of subscribe and get to the podcast all at once to kind of you know, help the momentum and, and really launch this thing and help, you know, help it be successful. So that's kind of the, the three pronged attack that we're going to have with the show itself. Um, you know, so if, if this were to be a normal week, let's say, um, and by normal week, I mean, shows are going to live shows are going to take place every Thursday at 2 PM, assuming the guests schedule is permitting. And I've tried to book it out far enough in advance to where that's not going to be a problem. And so how that would work is, so let's say Tuesday, you'd be watching what we're doing here, our little kind of one-on-one time. And then on Wednesday is when you would hear from the guests. So in this case, it would be Marcus. And then Thursday, we go live with the show, your chance to interact, ask your fearless questions with that guest. That's going to be about a 30 to 45 minute ordeal. And we're really going to get after it at that point. That's when the kind of gloves come off and we're just going to let loose. And that's also going to be your opportunity to kind of get into the action, become part of the action, and not just by asking questions, because it's going to happen in two ways. One, we're going to have the guest each week ask you a fearless question for you to have a chance to answer whatever their fearless question is for you. And then two, this is the cooler part. Um, every week, if we can pull this off, I want to bring I want to bring you onto the show. So that means if you have a fearless question for the guest of the week or even the topic of the week, I guess, and you want that answered, well, go ahead and start asking it. There'll be an event page created on Google Plus for these live hangouts. Go ahead to that event page and there'll be it'll be linked uh, you know, below in the description of this video and a ton of other places to find it. But go to that event page and leave that question. And what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, just allow the power of social media to play out here and whatever question has the most plus ones in that event well whoever asked that question we're going to bring them onto the show not quite sure what the cutoff is going to be how we're going to work it it's going to probably be a little bit of a learning experience for everybody but whenever we decide that cutoff to be we're going to ask you to come on the show and actually ask it and be part of the last few minutes of the show um i think it's going to be a lot of fun we're going to try and pull it off if if you guys are up for it as far as having a you know webcam and decent mic setup and you know everything looking okay on that end but we're going to try and pull it off and that's going to be a lot of fun. Outside of that, after the live show, what's going to happen? And this is going to be every Friday afternoon around 3:30 ish. Haven't firmly, haven't really set the time firmly, but um, you yeah, know, every Friday we're going to do what we call the afternoon after uh, hangout. And this is going to be some great one-on-one -on -one time. It's going to open it up to any of you fearless questioners out there that want to hop in on the week's conversation and go further, go deeper, talk with me one-on-one, -on -one, talk with whoever else is popping into the hangout and really just get after it and kind of have a follow-up to everything that has kind of built up throughout the course of the week. And, and really just, you know, like I said, kind of shoot the breeze and kind of have a wrap-up session. And if you have decided to take the plunge and get access to and subscribe to the Fearless Files, this is really where the best stuff is. Each week, um, that same guest is going to be asked the question, what Fearless question are they most afraid to ask in their own life and business, and how are they working to answer it? And that answer to that question is pulled out separate. We record that ahead of time and we're going to stick it behind in the fearless files which you have to go opt in to get access to so we are gonna have five of those answers uh, five of those fears ready to go in that library for you when you subscribe uh, to go run through and then every week it's going to be updated with a brand new one and whoever any guest that comes on they're going to have to have to answer that question and give you that answer and it, it's within the answer to that question that i think you're going to really find the most valuable information and these are people that have seemingly it all figured out or at least figured out more than most of us but when you see what they're struggling with what they're having a hard time moving forward with um, and how they're working to change it i just think that's going to be a lot of fun and i can't wait for it so to put a whole to put a nice little bow on this whole thing saturday sunday morning sometime over the weekend you can tell me when you think this might work best for you but going to send out just a wrap up email again just kind of recapping the week's discussions my final thoughts after reflecting on everything that has happened um you know throughout the week you know from these separate monologues to the actual live show to the hangout you know the afternoon after affair uh, and really just kind of reflecting on everything that has happened the conversations the questions that were asked and really what 
maybe the outcome has been for myself and maybe for some of the other people that I've talked with and kind of put a nice little bow on it until we start the whole thing over again next week. So that is what fearlessly questioning is and a nice segue into breaking the rules of the topic for our conversation with Marcus Sheridan is really there's not many podcast hangouts that follow this format and have so many different things all over the place. So we are kind of breaking the rules in the sense as what you might expect a traditional podcast to be and what you might expect to get out of it, especially with the subject matter and the material. And, and again, going into those questions, kind of ruffling some feathers. I like to say that every week there's going to be a question or two that could possibly get me slapped if I was standing uh, next to somebody in real life. Uh, so we're going to see how those are received. I'm going to try and prepare the guests as much as possible without giving too much away. But you know, ultimately, I don't think you're going to be able to actually fearlessly question in something without you know, at least tippy-toeing, dipping the toes into some uncomfortable territory. But again, I think if it is approached in the right way, we don't want to go ahead and send anybody off. We don't want anybody getting angry because then that's actually going to you know, really provide for actually a, a worse experience for everybody involved, me included, you included. Well, it might be good for entertainment's sake. It's not going to be good for actually solving some of these these questions, answering some of these questions that we're asking and getting to the bottom of it. So in addition to that, one of my big things and why I wanted to talk about breaking the rules with Marcus is because I think when people think about breaking the rules, they kind of think about being rebellious or a, a rebel and, and kind of just doing whatever they want, whenever they want. And one of the questions that I want to ask Marcus, and, and it'll be kind of at the base of the entire conversation, and I've asked it a couple of times throughout social media on Twitter and Google+, Plus, um, never really gotten a good answer, but you know, I've asked the question, is, have you learned enough to know which rules to break? I think that's a very important distinction to make because when you just start going breaking any and every rule, I think you're going to run a greater risk of setting yourself up for failure. But when you've actually taken the time to understand and learn exactly what needs to be done and where the rules are e most easily broken and where they actually need to be broken, well, that's obviously when you increase your chance to have a greater impact and not just be successful, but again, have you know a, a, a decent leap forward in success when you are able to identify those rules that need broken not even just you know breaking them, but need broken. And that's really where you're going to find uh, you know, the most, I guess get the, get the best bang for your buck, if you will. So that's my kind of take on breaking the rules. I know Marcus is gonna get into uh, you know, a lot about what he does and does not do, why he doesn't do it, and get to the bottom of that. And I think you're gonna really find that fascinating because this is a guy that is a um, you know, pretty big name within the internet marketing, content marketing space, uh, and who doesn't do a lot of the content, social stuff, the way that the you know everybody else might might recommend. And hearing his answers for that, I think, is only going to help you understand further what is actually necessary, not just in you know your content marketing efforts, your marketing efforts, but really within your business. And then ultimately within, you know, things in your life and how you might be able to focus a little more and, and get more out of it. So that's that. Your first little rant from me went a little longer than it will probably normally go, but had to get in that backstory again, fearlessly questioning belongings and beginning. I am again, your host, Joey Jingola. We will be with you here every week uh, after this launch week. It's going to be a brand new, fun and exciting stuff and got a few more surprises up my sleeve. Uh, that I kind of want to you know, get into this project, but we're going to start with what we got right now and see where we can add to it. So that's all I got right now. So stay tuned. We will be back with Marcus and his rant on breaking the rules. And I hope you are ready to enjoy that. Take it easy, everyone.